I want to give you guys a little context of this video before it starts. It's uh, definitely a different type of content than usual, but you guys are going to get some real insights on what's been going on for the last couple of weeks, uh, what the Dirt Dude's future holds, what I've been doing, and uh, get to actually know a little, little bit more about me. It's uh, what happens in this video was not planned, so... You guys are getting a full like mini documentary on the last two weeks of my life and me traveling all over the country. And uh, I think a big turn of events happened. It did happen. And uh, I just want to share it with you guys. We're going to get back to our normal content here in just a couple days. And uh, be prepared for more and more to come. I know the video is long, but I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, leave some comments below on what you think. Can't thank you guys enough. You guys are what make this channel keep going. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. Life's a garden, dig it. You make it work for you. You never give up, man. That's my philosophy. What is up, my dirt dudes and dudettes? I am currently on the road working right now, and I'm going to do a little video that's different than usual. Get you a little inside scoop on my normal life, I guess enough of my personal life out there so why not lay in a little bit more so some of you may know i actually haul cars for a living i'm not a full-time dirt dude as much as i would want to be and as much as i'm trying to make that happen because i've been doing this for a long time it's been almost 10 years or something like that so been there done that traveled the entire country i've only not drove through oregon and washington uh it's given me a lot of tools for life whatever being your own boss is probably the biggest tool you could ever give yourself and this is what this business has done for me it's uh, definitely made dirt dudes capable of doing what it is able to do uh, it's been interesting so currently right now I just picked up a car north of where I live in Williamsburg Michigan picked it up and now I am boogieing to Flint to pick up a Porsche well it's just saying I'm gonna arrive there at 422 they close at 430 so we are pushing it fingers crossed we're gonna make it in time that's the this is what this business is full of is just barely making it to everything it seems like definitely barely made it in time these lovely ladies here were very nice to me and we're willing to wait. You guys can see here, this is my first car, Pontiac Solstice. Got her up here in the front. We got just a little bit of room. There ain't much. This is a 34 foot trailer. So this Porsche GT2 RS, they sit pretty dang low. I made these ramps probably dang near 10 years ago, sitting in Colorado, right where we're going, because I was picking up a McLaren and she wanted to go in, I needed ramps. So I made these at a Home Depot. They've worked, so I never bought the badass foam ones because they're super expensive. So when you're doing this, you want to go over these cars with a fine tooth comb because if there's something on this that they don't see or they see on the other end and it wasn't on your inspection sheet, they can make you pay for it. Paint, chips, scuffed up rim, you name it. But I will say, this has got to be the dirtiest Porsche I have ever hauled. And I've hauled a lot of Porsches. Look at that crap, dude. It's like they want dirt racing in this thing, man. That's, that's insane to me. Wow. Interior though, sharp as usual. All right, let's begin the nerve wracking scary part for me. did it boys she's in there that dirty girl's in here all righty time to get out of here look at that good pile of bird poop that's on the side of my trailer that sucks now i gotta weasel my way out of here all right that's perfect okay well have a good trip have a good weekend i'll talk to you on monday all right have a good one thank you so that was bill for my next pickup which will be out of colorado right out of denver it's a 63 Jaguar XKE Roadster. Good old classic. And I got a second car I'm picking up, but it's just a crappy Ford Escape that doesn't even really run. That's the thing with this business. Some days you're hauling Porsches, some days you're hauling turds. Whatever pays the bills, that's what it's about. 
I'm sorry, Axles. We freaking did it, and I missed my chance talking to you guys to leave. Fueling up at the old shell. We're close to Kalamazoo right now, checking the cars. Stayed in Fenton last night with my buddy Flippin' Head and Rachel. Uh, cruising around in his C10 he just finished up. Well, almost finished. It's pretty sweet. I'll show you a clip real quick. I can't drop off this Porsche till Monday anyways. So, whatever, I'll kill a day there instead of staying in Colorado by myself for a day. Plus, their couch is better than this bed I got, contraption I got going on back here, which I'll embarrassingly show you guys. So like earlier, like I said, usually the seat's gone and then I have like a piece of plywood I shaped into here as the thing. But yep, now it's just tacoed in there and I got everything stacked up. So we're gonna really try covering some ground today. I got two days to go. Uh, it's like it's like 18 hours or something like that. Yeah, we got 1,235 miles left right now. 17 hours. God, I hate this. If we're gonna be paying outrageous fuel prices, up the damn limits. The ones that stop at like $74 or whatever drive me really insane. So, the taillight bolt decided to shear off. Uh, I tried drilling it out, I had a crappy bit, but it ain't gonna work. So, I got some crazy mounting tape from this gas station I'm at. Gorilla mounting tape. I don't want this thing to bounce around and break, so, I don't know. This is the easiest solution I can find right now. Time for the magic. It seems pretty damn strong. Voila, like new. I think it's actually gonna work. Oh, it looks like we might have some weather ahead of us too. Oh, we're hitting our first batch of rain. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good foul. This stretch of road sucks. We're about out of Michigan though, gonna be Hitting into Indiana and then Illinois and cutting across I-80. Oh, feeling a little rough still. Your boy had a couple drinks last night. Nothing uh, Red Bull can't fix though, right? All right, only 15 hours and 33 more minutes. Curious if that tape is holding up. That road definitely put it to the test, so <laughs> we'll see. All right. I Found some fuel In and I gotta get some miles, depth. Turn hey, left chill out. And here's the beautiful thing about the Fords. The freaking stock fuel tank is huge. It's huge. Here's the other cool part about come and goes. Now, if you guys have never been to a come and go, yes, there is a gas station called that. They all have uh, the extreme diesel, like cleaner and all the diesel stuff. So it's pretty good diesel fuel. And it's always cheap. And the moment of truth. She held up. She's good. Double-sided Gorilla tape. Strong stuff. All right. Oh, wow, I almost forgot the deaf. I hate the deaf stuff. It's gross, always. And uh, the hoses are always a pain in the ass. You know, I never make them just easy. Welcome to my pad. Kicks. Got all the blockers up. Stop all the peeping toms. <laughs> Parked in a Walmart. Normally never sleep at Walmarts. Always sleep at truck stops. People, people overthink truck stops. Everybody's just there to sleep. Walmarts are scary because you got crazy people coming in and out of it all night and day. I've had weirder stuff happen to me at Walmarts than at truck stops. Night, night. Look at that giant flag. It's blowing in the wind like crazy. Which is helping me get just fantastic fuel mileage. Boy's trailer in front of me is not doing so good. Wind is taking its toll. Right now we're 
out to Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, the weather is beautiful, except for the crazy wind. But little game change, uh, change in plans. I'm actually going to drop off tonight in Denver, the uh, Pontiac Solstice, and then I'm going to pick up this possibly turd of a Ford Escape and then head down south to Colorado Springs, sleep somewhere down there, and then uh, be dropping off the Porsche tomorrow morning. And then I drive back up to Denver, pick up the Jaguar, and then we boogie off to Indianapolis, well, first Springfield, Missouri, then Indianapolis. Yeah, this is the <laughs> show of hauling cars. <laughs> this is this. But it's just me <laughs> talking about an accomplishment the dirt dude just got which was 20,000 subscribers uh, pretty awesome it's been an insane journey it's been long obviously the ups and downs but we've gotten to do so many cool things it's very unbelievable if you would ask me when we started all this uh, if I would have even had a fraction of the percent of success that we have had nah it was just for fun so pretty uh, pretty amazing honestly and uh i really want to try changing up what's going on with the whole dirt dudes thing it's like there hasn't been enough content out there it's uh been kind of hard for me it's uh just trying to juggle this and dirt dudes um Jake does live like three hours away from me, uh, so it's kind of hard to get a bunch of stuff done. It takes a lot of planning and organizing, and that's kind of why I'm really debating on this car hauling thing anymore. It's been my bread and butter for many years, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I love the dirt dude thing. I love all the stuff that people, I mean, who wouldn't love it? I mean, it's a, it's a dream, basically. So anybody to have the chance to get to do what they like and love, so I don't know, it might be time to try to capitalize on it, make something happen. But obviously that's a very scary thought. It's like totally gambling on yourself, but I mean, I've kind of done that most of my life anyways. If, uh, if things failed, it's because of me. So it would be my own fault. So, yeah, it's better than working a nine to five. And uh, if it wasn't for you guys, Dirt Dudes would be nothing to what it is today. So, appreciate all the support. You guys are the best. I couldn't ask for a better army to have behind us. What we got to do last year, unbelievable. The success Dirt Dudes had and what it is to now, it's. Uh, it's hard to really put into words, honestly. And I know I just keep whining and bitching about this business, but it makes it really hard to sit in this truck when I, when something like that's right there at your grass. I know Breaking Jake wants nothing more than that. That dude's always trying to, he's always calling me, trying to get me to do something. What's the next move? What, what's this? What's that? We, uh just trying our best to make something happen here enough of that though one last thank you to all you guys out there that support us and watch the videos and uh tell your friends friends about dirt dudes let's let's get these numbers up even higher i feel like 20,000 is just some scratch on the surface but uh next move for me is getting fuel got about 100 miles left till empty but we are going through it hardcore with these winds that we're fighting. I don't know if you guys can hear it through the camera. The whole truck is just not swaying like crazy, but I'm definitely having to work a little bit. Uh, we've done 1,021.4 miles since we left the house. Not bad. This is insane, dude. Just met some Russian guy. He hauls cars too. This trailer has definitely seen better days. Ask me about mine. Mid city trailer, that's where it's at. Oh my god. That was ridiculous. I did buy some country fresh meats. 
some jerky and Monterey Jack cheese. Really spoiling myself. Come on, Mr. Russian man. All right. Slingshot engaged. Bye, Russian man. <laughs> We're creeping up on Denver, guys. We uh, got an hour and 20 minutes until we're in Arvada. Sun's coming down. Gonna watch this beautiful sunset as I get into Denver. And then uh, our first drop off is Pontiac Solstice. <laughs> open parking lot. I gotta unload this Porsche and then drop off the Pontiac. Alright, time for the fun part, pulling that Porsche back in. Strap this bad boy down onto the next one. All right, gonna unload this Porsche one more time. Put in this turd of a Ford Escape. Put this thing in the rear and then we're headed south to Colorado Springs. All right, we're all loaded up again. Ford Escape, torque converter is out in it. Finally make our way down south. Where are we sleeping tonight? Is that an electric car making that noise? What is going on there? Got the beautiful city of Denver though in the background. Smells like crap here though. Please tell me you guys can hear that. Sounds like that weird German guy that sings. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh my god, it's worse when I can use the zoom and see how far it's up there. Oh, wow. Going to be staying at the Cabela's. Overlooking all of Denver. Alright, I'm posted up for the night. Got the luxurious five-star bed ready to get laid down in. Alright, let's get to the morning. Oh boy, day has started. Already went into Cabela's, walked around a little bit. Just stretch my legs. May have bought this shirt, 12 bucks. Can't beat it, right? I could buy so much stuff in there, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's begin this journey. I'm gonna hold on on breakfast for now. Hi guys, I totally brain farted and didn't record any of that. All I did was unload the car. You didn't miss out on much. We're just a few minutes from picking up this Jaguar. I don't think I've ever been to this location. Uh, I, I used to come to Colorado a bunch. So I've been to a lot of places around here, a lot of the classic car shops. Like in this business, you don't really deal with the same people that much, like broker-wise or customers or any of that stuff. Like I don't really have customers. People try to get me to do it, but it's, who's to say I'm gonna be in the location that you are when you need it hauled? And then nobody wants to really pay that extra money so I can make sure I'm gonna make money on the way there and all that good stuff. <clears throat> this business comes down to just a giant math problem. How much does it cost you per mile and how much are you making per mile? All right, this guy lives or works in like a weird part of downtown, honestly. I said I've never been here. As soon as I'm pulling down the street, I think I've been here. It looks kind of familiar. I, yeah, I've been here. There she is. Real mint, too. She's clean. The car was painted 30 years ago. I only found like two scratches on it. 
Here she is. It's so small. Look at <laughs> those tires are perfectly lined up on the e-track. This is how narrow this thing is. Really, really clean though. Wow. Oh, hooked them up with some merch. Where's mine, dude? I'll trade you a dirt dude shirt. All right, we're back at it. Got an eight hour drive. We're gonna lose an hour. What would be ideal is if I could find something leaving Kansas City where this drag Jaguar drops off at and I could take that to Indianapolis with me. That would be ideal. A little extra cash instead of having a whole empty spot all the way there. Which, by the way, this Jaguar goes to Kansas City. I think I said Springfield, Missouri like 20 times. So if I did, I'm sorry. My brain is scattered. Beautiful, beautiful day here in Colorado, though. You cannot complain. Except for I'm working inside my truck and not enjoying the weather. Check that out, guys. We've covered some serious distance. Only got three hours and 44 minutes to go. Uh, the customer is pretty excited for his car. He kind of wants it tonight, but it'll be pretty late and it kind of disrupts what my plans might be. Uh, because if I drop tonight, I'm going to probably just keep driving a bit. When in reality, I could maybe scoop something up out of Kansas City. But maybe I don't. So it's kind of like the gamble in this business. Do I cover ground or hope for more money? I would like to just give Dirt Dudes my undivided attention and just focus on that. And man, it's, uh, it's feeling more tempting than ever. Not saying that we make a bunch of money from Dirt Dudes or anything. We reinvest all the money all the time. But there is ways that I could make, make it happen. I could make it happen. Pinching pennies, ramen noodles. <laughs> and, uh... It's all because you guys appreciate it. None of it wouldn't even be a thought if it wasn't for you guys watching right now. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I've always said that. I've said that about this business. I've said it about dirt dudes. And uh, sometimes there's ooh, big bombs. There's points in your life where I feel like you got to decide what are you gonna do. I think I'd regret giving up or not trying. It's really tempting to just kind of drive home and just quit doing this <laughs> I'll take a giant pay cut just to be happy that's for dang sure doing something I actually enjoy life is short spending all this time behind this wheel that's no fun I don't want to do that forever especially with having the chances to do dirt dudes I mean I'm sure there's thousands of people that are seeing this right now that uh can relate or wish they had the opportunity to maybe do something they actually enjoy. Nine to five suck. Not that I work a nine to five, but doing jobs that you don't necessarily enjoy sucks. I'll update you guys here in a little bit. We'll find out whether or not I'm gonna drop this car tonight or maybe park somewhere and drop it in the morning and cross my fingers that I scoop something up out of Kansas City. I wish you could see the other side. It says Topeka. That's where I am right now. Just stopped, took that shower. <sighs> Made myself feel a little bit human again. That was like three days or whatever. <laughs> Sucks. I'm actually a little bit farther than I would like to be. I could get closer. I'd have to sleep on the tollway most likely and it's always so damn full so it's chances of getting a spot are probably slim to none so i might just sleep here and get my ass up early and start trucking along got a big day tomorrow morning fools <sighs> it's another day mm, i hit my snooze a few times running behind got a boogie our asses there I was like, need to be there by at least 8.30. Right now, we are going to be getting there at like 8.13. And I didn't fill up here because I know the freeway has fuel for like 360 something. Kansas, just in general, has pretty cheap fuel. Boring ass state to drive through, but 
cheap fuel. All right, guys, we made it to our drop off. Let's get this Jaguar out of here. Had to back up the dude's own car into his garage. What? <sighs> Rich people. Eight and a half hours. I'm still sitting here searching. Seeing if I can scoop anything up. See, I hate this game. It's just like a guessing game and wondering if maybe you're gonna get lucky, find something out of here. How long do you wait before you're just wasting your time? And I kind of feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm an impatient bastard though. Yep, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit around all day. So this morning, when I got up and I had to use the old bathroom like anybody has to, at least I feel like everybody does, <laughs> I wanna show you a little clip of what creatures I see all the time. Like, what in the heck was that dude thinking? He's gonna have some <laughs> breath. I just wanted to share that with you guys. It gave me a good chuckle this morning. I haven't really found anything leaving Indiana that's spectacular. Some other ones in the like surrounding areas I could try darting over to. I'm not gonna lie. I see some vehicles headed into Michigan and it's real tempting. Well, started looking at the board and I saw a vehicle leaving Louisiana, going to Montana for good money. And I'm gonna try making that, that happen now. So about 30 minutes from dropping this Ford Escape, I'm gonna post up somewhere, really go over the central dispatch where I find my vehicles, and then I'm gonna make a game plan. I am itching to just go home. I wanna go home so bad. But, I'm gonna save up a little bit of money. Cause I, I really am, I think this is gonna be my last trip. My, the anniversary of when I started Dirt Dudes is today. It would have been magical to stop on the same day, but that's not reality. I think the smart move is if I can pull off this Montana haul, is uh, saving up as much money as possible. It's a smart thing to do. So it's official, going to Montana. Yep, we're officially going to Montana. Right now I'm headed to go pick up a 65 Mustang. And then ironically, I think it's another 65 Mustang in Nashville. Both going to, well one's going to Slidell, which is right by New Orleans, and one's going right into New Orleans. And then we pick up a 21. Chevy Corvette in Baton Rouge, one of the stinkiest places on earth. Well, at least in this country. <laughs> it always smells like rotten eggs there. Uh, and then uh, we're headed to Helena, Montana. But I need one more car to go to Helena, somewhere in that vicinity. Maybe it might not even be Montana, maybe it might be the, the South Dakota or something like that, or Wyoming. This is it guys, it's official. When I am done with this freaking haul, I'm quitting this business. I'm done with it. I got things I gotta do. I gotta, I gotta find me a truck, because I don't know if I said this in this video, because it's been days of making this whole thing. And uh, I don't actually own this truck, it's an enterprise truck. I pay per mile. Uh, Probably a bunch of you guys are going to be like, whoa, that's insane. Yeah, it's a big, giant math problem. How much does your truck cost you per mile between tires, oil change, uh, maintenance, blah, 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 blah. This truck might be a little bit more, but all it would take is an engine going out, transmission, and then all of a sudden your price per mile is probably above what I'll be paying for this. And you get a new truck all the time, uh, every like 60,000 miles. It's, uh, it's a real stress reliever for um, doing this type of business because, I mean, your biggest thing is this, 
your vehicle getting you from point A to point B. Obviously, your trailer is important, but this thing has a lot more going on to it. Trailers are pretty simple. My first truck ever was a Duramax, uh, just a two-wheel drive uh, Chevy, and I think I busted the crank on that thing at like 365,000 miles. Then I bought a badass Dodge that you guys might have seen in my old video. It was a black one. Black Knight. She drove down here good. Oh, that sounds mean. Right in front of the sheriff's department. I'm trying to get everything ready. I'm ready to just take dirt dudes to the moon. I'm going to be everything Deutsche Coin wasn't. Maybe I'll just say it right now. Here's another cool thing. So we are officially on the UTV Takeover media team. You're gonna see your boys plastered on UTV Takeover and Coos Bay. We're we're going. It's right around the corner. So I need to be focused on that stuff and creating content for you guys. Who would like to see two videos a week? Maybe three. I mean, I did two videos a week for well over a year for you guys, and it helped us definitely grow. But I just feel like we're in a we're in a different stride now and I want to I want to ride the wave I hate this periodic drop and stuff every now and then when I can it's too hard when it's just me doing the work and that it's impossible to balance both of them. all right we just arrived at our first pickup GR Auto Gallery in Indianapolis have been doing business with these guys for a long time uh, I'll show you the inside of these of this uh, place. It's a new shop actually and it's sweet. It's sweet I've been hauling cars out of the Grand Rapids and Traverse City location for a long time uh, Yeah, let's, let's go get in there I'm pretty sure I can hear them revving it up in there uh, yeah. They're moving some stuff around Here she is just did the inspection on it. They're gonna go pull it out by the truck Look at this place though if you want a classic car, look up GR Auto Gallery, man. It's got everything you would ever want. I mean, from new to old, whatever. I could take this truck right now. Frank's transmission, call someone who gives a shift. I want the little red Dodge, that's what I want. I've hauled one of these before. So that's, it comes stock with the stacks. All right, we better get a move on it. We got uh, we got a lot of other stuff we gotta do. Made it just south of Nashville to the second 65 Mustang that we're gonna be picking up. This is the exact same car. It's a manual and everything. I'm curious. Like, how we get to compare? Which one's nicer? Wish I knew how much they paid for them. Oh, I see the cars. Yeah, the good camera. Look at all these rigs. I got cars all the way out here. But inside, insane. Honestly, it looks a lot bigger than GR. Here's the ride we're taking. Looks pretty dang clean. But look at all of this. Oh my god. Just a sea of them, man. Let's go inspect this thing, that one. Get back to the road. This thing is badass. All right, this thing's pretty sweet. It sounds badass. Style. Perfect. Just uh, load her up. Now it's time to just drive, man. No more getting sweaty. Just driving. All right, I'm gonna whip into this freaking gas station because found some more 340 a gallon diesel. It's a really weird rednecky looking place all righty we're getting it it's cheap what in the hillbilly <laughs> is going on 
You say there's rats? No, there's not. Yeah. Yes, there is. There is a mouse here. No way. Yes, there is. There is a mouse. I feel fucked <laughs> up doing this, but... Dude, this lady has mice in her car. Dude, that was the most insane thing <laughs> I've ever seen. I've been everywhere. Where are you at? Where are you at? Come out, little buddy. You say there's four? No, there's not. I don't know if I got a good shot of it with the GoPro. I don't think I did. I know I did with my phone. I came back and got the GoPro because I just saw the garbage in the car. And I'm like, that's insane. And then when I went back and that lady that works here was like, oh, there's mice in it. Dude, there's four mice living in that thing. They were jumping around. They're all over. Every time I tried getting the GoPro, I'll, they would disappear. Wow. Ooh, Mississippi, man. <laughs> all right. Trying to sleep at a loves tonight. An actual truck stop. Not some weird random place. Wow, what an exciting night. Rats getting parking spots. So usually everybody backs into the spots, but... I don't like to because I don't want to be like window to window with everybody. I kind of like being isolated at the other end. It's all foggy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, you can. We're going into the mist. All right, she's all loaded or unloaded. I mean, loaded into the garage. Dude, it is so muggy down here. It's disgusting. Uh, load back up this last Mustang and boogie, boogie, boogie. You gotta be a different type of person to live down here. Humidity, heat, disgusting, dude. Got people with hoarder house or hoarder cars. With mice friends. What has this place become? It's so disgusting. You just move a little bit and you just <laughs> sweat. Look at that. Headed to New Orleans. We're... This is a poopy area. At the light, right there. Oh use my the god, they have another turn one. Left onto North Robertson <laughs> Street. <laughs> <What> <laughs> <the> <laughs> right turn. I'm so mad I don't have a picture of that. It's literally a lost dog sign, but it's painted. Right there, there it is. There's the <laughs> sign. There's no way. Look at this. Look at what I'm driving around. We're gonna drop off a freaking sweet Mustang here. This might be a setup. Okay, I see cool cars down here. This is, this is bananas. Yeah, well, we're here. There's nice cars here. This is just a weird area. Ooh, ripping through the swamp land. We're gonna have, this is gonna be like the first day. I'm gonna have more than enough time for everything. I don't think we're gonna be crushing it. Our last pickup's private, so they don't close. We go Am I overwhelmed? Yes. Are you tired? Right. We're here in Baton Rouge. So start using it I'm today. also calling on a car going right from Montana to right, like, I don't we know, 20 minutes from where I live. Thank you for your here we are. First Corvette getting ready to picked up. There she is. I'm a little tight on this side more than I would like, but I don't have anybody guiding me in, so. One more Corvette, and we're on our way to Montana. And I've already got a car out of Montana going to Michigan and one going to Illinois. I need one more. I need one more out of Illinois going to Michigan. I'm done. All right, guys, it's official. I got that one car. Uh, going from Montana right to Boone, Michigan. It's like 20, 30 minutes from my house. Can't get any luckier than that. Booked another car from Montana to Addison, Illinois, which is basically Chicago. So all I need is one more car. 
We need some from that Chicago area to Michigan. Make that last little bit of cha chain. All right, she's all loaded up. Got one strap to go. She's a pretty one. Does it get any closer? Stay in the second or third lane from right. Yes, ma'am. Ripping through Dallas, Texas right now, guys. But uh, we're down to 19 hours. <laughs> Crushing it. All right, guys little update here i made it to wichita falls texas 17 hours and 21 more minutes to go i could probably just sleep right here i don't even want to set up my bed this guy's got a big load on his truck check this out huh you might be overweight dude you're gonna get in trouble with the law um let's check my cars they're all good lights not doing good lights coming right up <laughs> And it's broke, there's water getting in it. And then to top it all off, uh, yesterday I noticed my pin holding my hitch in was kind of working its way out and it was like pressing against the cotter pin holding it in. And it was wedged in there and I could not punch it back. So I popped my chain off to try beating it in there. Well, I guess I didn't either put the chain on all the way or I didn't put it on at all because it's gone. Man, I am a grumpy mofo this morning. Turn right onto South Graham Street. You shut the hell up. The Big Daxon. Go by this restaurant for, I don't know, hundreds of times. Always said I wanted to come here and eat, whatever. It's probably the last time I'm going to be driving by this place for a long time. At least, I hope so. That's what the game plan is. It looks busier than hell, though. So, if it's like an hour plus wait, it's your boy can't, you can't do it. He's got to go. It's cool. They got like a western town theme. Ooh, that smells crazy good, dude. Check it out, though. Pretty cool. The building's very scream at me type of theme. Getting serenaded for my steak. <laughs> Finally came out. Pretty killer. Steaks maybe a little more done than a medium rare, but it's better than eating freaking McDonald's anymore or Arby's. Well, that's a wrap. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm freaking disappointed. Steak was a little overdone and I waited well over an hour for it. I went to Big Texas or Big Texan Ranch. I got <laughs> food. At least I can say that. <laughs> All right, it's finally happened. Something gave completely way. Ah, I'm losing air in this tire. Fudge. Let's see if we can figure out where the freaking leak is. Yeah, there's only 12 and a half pounds in this thing right now, so that's not good. All right, I think I found the hole. Can't believe how cold it is. I'm in Colorado Springs, basically. Yeah, there's a little nail in there. All right, I fudged up, guys. I don't have my tire patching kit on me, so now, and this loves doesn't have one for some reason. I'm sorry, but dude, that van, yeah, don't let your kids go near that thing. That looks scary. But anyways, yeah, I gotta go to a different truck stop a little bit more north. Well, this sucks. It's a freaking blizzard now, guys. Ah, not gonna be fun to fix it in this. Holy crap, guys, it's 20 degrees. I'm in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I got my tire kit. <sighs> gotcha. No, oh, it's a big bugger. I'm beat. I gave up on the tire. I gotta get that plug in for some reason. I don't know if it's because I'm just freezing and tired or what, but I'm just gonna deal with it in the morning. Good morning, guys. 
I literally plugged that tire in, I don't know, 30 seconds. It just shows you that sometimes when you're really tired, you've been working a bunch, it's best to just take a break, get some sleep. It's like I was struggling with it last night and then literally just pop pop this morning. Here we go, off to freaking Montana. Look at how pretty that is. headed to mall or uh, billings montana i'm horrible at vlogging the whole experience with uh the car hauling i forget but already unloaded the car look at that 17 year old kid bought his bought this thing man come on lay into it dude i want to hear it <laughs> he said he sold his dirt bike and his mustang and got that pretty impressive man he's getting a little bit more on it right there all right now up to Helena. I think I've been calling it Helena or like probably four different names. Sure, I've done this like 20 times, but man, you just can't beat how pretty it is here. It's freaking insane. All right, we're here. We're doing a late night drop. <laughs> Corvette I just dropped off that guy ended up knowing about he knew who dirt dudes was I was complimenting him on his can am defender that in there yeah I, sweet guy he's super cool and he even gave me a tip I mean very generous thank you dude you're the bomb if you're watching this rip that Corvette dude it's sweet oh, good morning guys 17 minutes away from picking up my car. I got a day to kill. Um, I'm gonna meet up with one of my friends up here, so why not? Have some fun. <laughs> Check this out though, guys. Just, I just don't think it would ever get old seeing all this. It's just too pretty. I'm sorry guys, I didn't even record me loading the car or anything. I just keep forgetting. It's so different than the normal routine. But anyways, we're headed up to the bison range and it's uh, in the season where there'll be calves and stuff like that. Potential to see a bear, other stuff. Something to do, I've never done it before. It'll be interesting, it'll be fun. <laughs> guys the uh, little bit of fun I had today is to an end got me some firehouse subs again and uh, yeah time to make my way to Billings <sighs> it sucked when you get like outside and doing some stuff the last thing you want to do is go back to driving five and a half hours check out that setup right there camper four-seater x3 on top of the freaking dodge i like it good morning mm. in typical car hauling fashion i woke up this morning to a phone call from the car i'm gonna go pick up and it's the broker he's like yeah that car actually don't roll i've been doing this long enough those people with those forklifts some of them are good some of them aren't so it's always like risky it's a really nice trailer i don't want to mess it up because some dude is making ten dollars an hour running a forklift no offense only i got a short little drive only like 20 minutes to it so let's get at it all 
I hate this so much. It's way worse than what I thought. I just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like he knew it didn't roll and steer, yet he told me it did. That wheel is like falling off. So I'm doing the thing I hate the most. I'm gonna have a freaking fork lifted in here. These guys are doing damn good. Thank you! Damn, that guy killed it. The guy on drop off has got a forklift, I guess, so. Hopefully he's just as good. He said he could do it blindfolded, but we'll see. It's a pretty, luckily it's a pretty small car. Okay. The journey home has finally began. Uh, I don't think I said it, but I actually booked another car out of Illinois. Let's see if it actually stays together. Uh, going to Traverse City, Michigan, which is just north of me also. Say goodbye to my Russian friend. That dude is kind of funny. Do you speak Russian? Well, that's just lovely flood warnings and other advisories so that tells me i'm probably going to be going across crazy winds here's something that's beautiful if this car actually stays on here and i don't have any more cancellations or anything that's my last time looking at central dispatch booking cars hopefully <laughs> i hate central dispatch i hate staring at that board Oof. Honestly, that thought right there is bringing more of a smile to my face because I was feeling pretty grumpy this morning with the whole call car doesn't roll steer and all that but ah, On to bigger and brighter things. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek here freaking North Dakota whoop, whoop. It's pretty pretty mountainous once we get closer to Bismarck it's just like rolling hills forever. <laughs> and like I said earlier, if it's in the video, as soon as you get there, the winds just pick right up. It's ridiculous. All right, guys, I'm just parked for the night. I'm near Eclair, Wisconsin. Uh, made it through Minneapolis, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's time to get a little bit of rest. I got four and a half hours till I'm in Chicago, basically. Uh, and then tomorrow's like kind of, it's a big day. I'm, I mean, it might be my last day. Technically, I'll probably have to deliver my cars one more day later, but I mean, it's really wrapping up. I'm also gonna be looking at a truck tomorrow in Lansing, Michigan. So you guys stay tuned for that. What type of truck is it? What am I looking at getting? Uh, this is not my truck, I'm sure I've said it in this video. I've been spoiled. I've been driving a new truck for like the last, five years or something like that uh getting a new one every sixty thousand miles so it's gonna be different <laughs> a little bit more stress because like i don't have to worry about these things but there's a giant upside to the whole situation so all right tomorrow guys tomorrow my tire plug gave way not all the way it just started leaking yeah you can actually see it right here oh yeah Tire was a little low. She had like 40 pounds in it, but it will hold up though. We'll make us home. That's a pretty slow leak. Two hours away from the drop off, but and then we're picking up and then gonna go look at this truck in Lansing. Man, it is market right now. Is I'm sure as everybody knows sucks. Prices are inflated. Even interest rates are just insane right now. Uh, I mean. I got good credit and that's the interest rates bananas the hardest thing though is buying like a used truck I am I don't know it's been years since I bought anything used like that and it's just always so nerve-wracking it's like am I buying a hunk of crap is it gonna be good I don't know I've called around and I think it's a pretty decent truck the journey is beginning guys it's getting close I cannot wait. Uh, let's drop this freaking car off and uh, go pick up and go look at this truck. Definitely have ate way too many seeds. My cheeks are raw and so is my tongue. Mmm, this is 
going like I'm dropping this off at like a junkyard or something because we gotta use a forklift to get that sucker out of there so I had to change locations meeting up here hopefully it goes easy peasy that's the goal right that was insane the car is gone I was doing paperwork with the guy and literally in my truck and this dude he, that dude's an expert at fork I didn't even feel the trailer or anything move wow that was insane oh dude brah your freaking fender yeah there he is the old turd bye bye dang dude this place is sick Badass Lambo, Vipers sneaking over there. Oh, this one's mine, sweet. Oh, no. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. There it goes. You're gonna have to move 500 cars just to get this thing out of here. Wow. It's a hell of a fleet they got in here, man. Pretty awesome. Sweet. All right. So we just stopped at a pilot, getting some fuel, some McNuggets. <laughs> And uh, I'm only like an hour or something like that from checking out the truck. It's getting real, guys. <laughs> it's I don't even know. This all seems just so insane. Like, going to be quitting my business, going full-time, uh, doing this stuff. It's uh, I'm like literally just going to look at a truck and then buy it. I don't know. If it's good. If it's what I think it is. I don't know. It's crazy. Well, just got done looking at the truck. I know I totally left you guys hanging. I didn't videotape it at all, but I was respecting that guy. I didn't want to put his house or anything on camera like that or him. Made a deal. Made a deal. So, gonna head back down tomorrow and go pick up the truck. All right. Let's snap to tomorrow and uh, see what the heck I'm doing. Unloading these or making moves, getting down there, whatever maybe. That was a horrible snap. Let's snap again. Alright, it's the next day. It's time to unload this Mustang and run to the bank. Go get a check. Head to Lansing. Well, I gotta drop off the other Mustang too, but it's all on the way. That didn't go as planned, guys. Dang near a decade of doing this, and I've uh, never damaged a vehicle. I got in, my zipper caught the door handle. It put a little chip in it. Not good, man. Not freaking good. Ah, uh, all right, I got a little overzealous there. I for some reason thought I needed to order oh I what I thought is you could just order a whole new handle and it would be paint to match but it doesn't they got to paint it so they got to take that car to a body shop and get the handle repainted I am I went from here to here real quick it's oh dang dude I can't believe I did that it is what it is though I can't change it the guy's being really cool about it so and he's local he lives right north of me, so it would be easy to get him taken care of. Oh, all right. Let's not make the same mistake again. Let's get this car, other car unloaded and hype myself back up to go get this truck that I'm going to go be buying, which I'll tell you guys how much I paid for it, and I'll show you guys the truck all over and uh, tell me if I had made a bad deal or not. Did it? Was it worth it? You know what's a bad deal? Me scratching that car. Oh God. There she is. Bye bye. Last car. Hopefully forever. <laughs> I'm I'm stressed eating seeds. Okay, now for the exciting part. 
debt. <laughs> Go to the bank, pick up uh, my check, and then uh, my brother's gonna give me a ride down to Lansing where I'm picking up the truck. I feel like my emotions have been like this throughout the entire video. I'm like, bah, bummed I'm working. Oh, I'm gonna not work anymore. Bah, I messed up a car. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a truck. Whatever. All right, guys, I did it. I pulled the trigger. We got the new Dirt Dudes tow rig. 2014 Ram 3500, fully stock, 157,000 miles. It is. It looks black, but it's actually like a black with gold flake. It almost looks brown. It's a pretty crazy color. It used to have the chrome caps. That's why it's the steely wheels. It looks kind of crappy, but one owner, uh, the guy definitely took care of the truck. Uh, I mean, changed the fluids every 5,000 miles. I mean, that's usually everybody goes 10,000 miles. I mean, it has great towing capacity, so we can still pull the wedge because I'm not having got rid of that yet, just in case we still have our fleet and everything. Uh, man, it's literally identical to my old black truck. It just needs to get the goodies on it, and should we all set? It's an SLT package, but with all the upgrades. So it's got the audio Alpine system in it with like the subwoofer, uh, cloth seats instead of leather. That's kind of like part of the reason why people will upgrade them like that. Uh, exhaust brake, the whole shebang, big touch screen, the bigger screen on the dash, uh, sunroof. I mean, she's loaded to the gills. There's a couple scratches and dings here and there, nothing too major and rust wise. It's pretty dang clean at like the worst spot and the only really noticeable one is right there. But I could probably get that taken care of fairly cheap. And then also right here at the bottom of the tailgate, there's another spot. 34,000 for a 2014 one ton Cummins. I don't think it's that bad for what the market is right now. I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge for it. Comment below, is it a good deal? Let me know. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. It's what we need to continue doing what we're doing because like I said, we're gonna be doing both UTV takeover events, which is all the way out west, plus Camp Razor. Gotta have something dependable pulling all that weight. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. This whole journey in itself is just ridiculous. I appreciate all you guys that have been following me along on this and it's surreal so you guys get prepared because dirt dudes is going to a next level yeah we got to crush the competition guys um i'm ready to just go out there have fun with you uh with everybody at these events and, and just begin this ultimate journey it's uh it's surreal to be honest anybody out there that's trying to chase their dreams it's uh you got to go for it and i think there'll be like a defining moment where you'll know, like, do I gotta make this move or not? There's no guarantees I'm gonna make it or anything. I'm just, I'm going for it. I'm gonna try my hardest to make it happen. Cause what else can you do? Can't wait forever. You gotta pull that trigger sometime. And right now is the time for me, I think. And I can't wait, I'm excited. So again, thank you guys. Dirt Army is the best. Big things coming. I'm actually gonna be in West Virginia from the 7th to the 12th. Comment below if you're in the area, you got something you maybe you want to show us or tag along, let me know. And uh, check out Patreon, longer videos, early access, ad free, little as a dollar a month. We appreciate more. You guys are the best. And then uh, dirtdudesutv.com for all your aftermarket assassin parts, plus our merch. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. You're the bomb. Crash Palooza, August 19th. Be there or be square. Go uh, to twistedtrails.com right now, get your campsite. I would say for Friday and Saturday, that's the best. We got the food truck, the same one as last year. There will be breakfast. So if you're camping there, food, hot food ready to be served. And uh, we're excited. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>